this video we are going to see on how to minify JavaScript files using gulp.js. We are essentially going to create a new gulp.js task which combines or concatenates all the JavaScript files available in the source folder into one file, one JavaScript file and then minify the same file. Further we are also going to see on how to implement watch that is gulp watch or say monitoring for file changes and execute respect to gulp tasks whenever any kind of file gets modified. If you are not familiar to gulp.js, please watch one of my previous videos which covers the basics of gulp.js. Okay, let us jump straight into the respect to my application. So in this case I have a folder called test and I do not have any other folder or app inside this. So let me start with a new app called my app. And once I have my app in place, I need to uh, initiate that using npm. So which means I need to turn that folder into a node application. So I am going to open uh, command prompt here and I am going to say npm init which essentially converts that particular folder into a node application. So I am just going to accept all the defaults which are available so that it actually creates package.json file. So if you see in my folder you are going to see package.json. So in order to work with this folder I will be actually opening the folder using my editor called Sublime in this case. You can use any of your favorite editors for that matter. So if you open package.json you are going to see all the defaults whatever you have provided or whatever the information you might be providing as part of initiation of npm as part of your project. So let me clear this and now let me copy a few files which actually does some kind of JavaScript code and also HTML accordingly. So prior to that I would like to have IS to be executed as part of this test folder so that I can actually access or test my particular application using a browser. You can use any of your favorite web servers. In this case I would like to use IS Express. So I just wanted to move it here. And similarly as I mentioned I would like to have a couple more files in order to test my application. So in this case all I really need is these two. So I go in here, go to my application and just copy those two. This is just a normal HTML file and this HTML file essentially is going to include three JavaScript files app 1, 2. So 2.js is actually available inside T folder which is a nested folder available inside SRC. So source is the folder which contains all the JavaScript files and if you can see the first one is app.js if I open it all it does is just instantiates or initiates a particular JavaScript object and in 1.js to the same object of app which has been created earlier in app.js you know I'm using the same object here in one so I'm saying that please add this method which essentially alerts using something like a message called this is from first method. Similarly in 2.js I'm further extending the app in such a way that I'm going to have a debugger here which is not essential anyway and I'm going to see an alert this is from second method whenever I execute this method. So if you go back to normal.html you can see first of all I'm importing app then one then two and I have two buttons which essentially take care about executing their respective methods whenever I click on those. So once I have everything in place the first thing is that I need to have the web server to be working. So I just execute this and now the web server is actually listening at localhost 8080 so I just minimize this and using my browser I go to localhost my app normal.html so I just press enter and now you can see I have both of the buttons so let me open developer tools for our convenience so just refresh this and now you can see I have the source with all the respective files like app.js, 1.js and if you open t you got 2.js as well along with debugger. So once I click on first message you can see I have the message related to app.first method uh, method itself and similarly if I click on the second button as I have written debugger here it is going to stop right there and further pressing execute you are going to see the alert this is from second method right here. So in that way we have a simple application 
which actually does a couple of imports of JavaScript files and have the HTML to be taken care about executing the respective JavaScript uh, methods on clicking of the respective buttons. Okay, so we are done in that way, but our main goal of this video is to actually concatenate all the JavaScript files into one and again minify them and watch them and implement all of these using gulp.js. So the first thing is I need to go back to my mm -hmm. command prompt here and I need to have gulp to be installed for this application alone in this case but if you'd like to install globally it is up to you. So in this case I would like to go locally so I, I am going to say gulp sorry npm install gulp and save it as part of our package.json. So it is going to install local to the application so which means it's going to create all the folders inside the my app called no, I mean the folder name is going to be node modules. So let me click install and if you go to my app you are going to see node underscore modules being created and you are going to see Culp is currently under progress of importing all the respective files or modules. Okay so now that we have Culp already installed as part of the application the next thing is that we are going to install Culp add-in called concat. So to, for that I am going to say npm install galp concat and in this case again I would like to save it as part of package.json okay so if you return back to your package.json you are going to see those two dependencies which have been added through your command line so once we have both of those like the galp and uh, galp concat we have to write galp.js file as part of this my application so currently this my app doesn't have gulp.js. In order to work with gulp, you need to have gulp.js. So I have a simple template called gulpfile.js. I'm going to use that as part of my application, which is quite straightforward. If you open gulpfile.js, you can see all it does right now is uh, importing the module called gulp, and it is available as part of the gulp. And as we are working with gulp concat, we have to import that module too. And I'm going to say, Galp con, uh, concat. So that was the plugin which I actually installed earlier. So if you go back here, you can see I installed Galp concat. So the same thing I'm actually placing it here too. And now I'm going to create a new Galp task called T1. You can provide your own name here, it doesn't matter whatever you provide here. So in this case, I would like to say return, specify the source files. And in this case, I am going to say, go to the folder called source. You can see I have the source folder right here. And inside the source folder, fetch all the files in any of the subfolders of the source file. And only with the files having the extension JavaScript. And next, pipe each of those files and go with concatenate module. So you can see I am using the same variable, whatever you have in here, right here. So I'm going to say concatenate and place in all.js and at the same time I would like to have that all.js to be actually placed in a different folder called destination. So I can provide whatever uh, the folder you would like to have. So all it does is it, it fetches all the JavaScript files available in the source folder or any of its nested folders, concatenates all of them into one single file called all.js creates it and places inside a destination folder. We do not have destination folder here and Gulp is smart enough to create destination folder all by itself and places all the JS right inside there. So I just save this and now I go back to my prompt and I'm going to say Gulp and the name of the task in this case is T1 so you can provide T1 as your task and now you can see it says started I mean starting task 1 so which means it is trying to execute T1 and it has finished and if you go back to your application you are going to see destination and all.js has been created automatically so if you open the all.js you are going to see something like the concatenated information from all of those files so this one is coming from app.js this one coming from 1.js this one coming from 2.js <laughs> available in T so in that way we have all of those to be made available in one single file called all.js now 
I need to modify this normal.html so that you actually work with all.js but not really app.js. So instead of modifying this better I would like to duplicate it and in this case I'm going to call something like t1.html and as I do not need any of all the files all I really need is go to the destination folder and just get only all.js okay and now I go back to browser and here I'm going to say go with t1 sorry yeah t1.html and now if you see whatever the things downloaded from the server all I have is destination and inside the destination I have all.js and all.js is just not nothing but the concatenated information and first message should still work in the same way second message should have a debugger in place and the moment I press execute it is still going to work with the same message whatever we have in place so from now onwards every time you modify any of your uh, core files like 1.js in this case this is from first sample method let us consider and now I go to 2 and I'm going to say this is second sample method so now I modified these two but those will not be immediately made available as part of destination because we need to concatenate all of those once we modify any of those so that is important so this task is automatic not automatic so I have to execute this task every time you modify your JavaScript files so now that I modified the JavaScript files and then again executed gulp t1 now you are going to see destination actually having second samples right here now I go back here refresh this and you are going to see first sample method and again in the second message you are going to see second sample method as well okay so this is pretty important every time you change any of your JavaScript files you need to go back to your command prompt and execute your gulp task every time you modify that is pretty important and that uh, manual execution of gulp task can be automated using gulp watch so which is what we are going to see now so for that you do not need to install any uh, special plugins gulp has got a built-in watcher by itself which monitors all the respective files whatever you specify as part of your uh, uh, file I mean as part of your gulp file so I go back to my uh, sublime here and uh, in this case I'm going to modify my uh, gulp file.js the task and in this case you can provide any task name in this case I'm going to say watch one and whenever I say watch one what it has to execute so in this case all I'm going to say is gulp dot watch source and start.js so which means I'm saying that please monitor watch means monitor monitor all the JavaScript files available in every subfolder or everywhere inside the source folder and whenever it finds any modifications to any of those files please execute all the respective tasks I provide so in this case I have only one task called t1 which needs to be executed so all I'm saying is that watch for these files and if any modifications are found please execute this task and that is pretty much about it so I just save this and now I go back to my prompt all I have to say is gulp w1 so what is w1 that is nothing but your new task which is a watcher task so I just press enter and now it is saying starting w1 and it says finished but still you can see it is actually waiting there and monitoring all the modifications to the existing files so let me restore this window a bit and place this one somewhere here so that we can see all the modifications or monitoring or the executions the gulp runtime is making while we are trying to modify the respective JavaScript files so I go to one.js so in this case instead of sample I'm going to remove the first I mean I'm going to remove the sample word I just say file save so the moment I say save you can see that it is actually executing task 1 because it found one of the files have modified and it, ex it has to execute the respective task and similarly I go back to 2 and in this case I'm going to remove sample again and now I'm going to say file save 
and now you can see it is again executing task 1. So in this case we do not really need to go back to command prompt and re-execute gulp task manually if you have watcher in place. So let me save all of this part and now all I have to do is go back to your browser and just press refresh and if you go back here you can see the sample word has been removed. So the moment I click on this you can see I have debugger and at the same time alert working in the same fashion. Okay, now you can further uh, not just concatenate, you can also minify all of your files. So which means in this case, let us consider I would like to have all the JS to be actually minified. Which means I would like to have all the unnecessary spaces and debuggers and everything to be removed. So for that, we can actually install. So let me cancel this. So just press Control C and press Y, it is going to cancel this job. Okay, so in order to have uh, the minification of JavaScript files to be working, the first thing I had to do is that I need to install a special plugin. In this case, I call this one as um, npm install gulp uglify. So this is the gulp plugin which is available as part of your, the open source gulp plugins. We need to install that. And in this case, I would like to ensure that it is listed in package.json. And now you should be able to see gulp uglify downloaded and installed. And now I go back to my gulp file. The first thing is that I need to modify my gulp file and import the new uglify plugin, whatever I installed. So I'm going to name the variable as uglify for this module called uglify. So that is the plugin. And now I'm going to modify my task one as I already have concatenate. Um, let me create a different file called all.min.js so that it has to concatenate everything into all.min.js. And further, I would like to have uglify to be applied for the same file. So, which means what I'm saying is that find out all the JavaScript files, concatenate into this file and use the same file further to uglify it and place that file inside the destination. So make sure that the physical operation of actually creation of that file and placing the of that file is going to happen only during this step. Behind the scenes, all of this will be working in the buffer that is in the memory. And again, we don't need to modify any of our watch here as because the watch one is actually working on T1 and T1 is essentially concatenation and minification at the same time. So we do not need to modify watch at all. So just save this, go back to your command prompt, make sure that your watcher is on, just press W1. And now you can see it is watching. And uh, now in this case, I had to modify my t1.html so that it actually goes to all.min.js rather than all.js. Now, in this case, let us consider I'm going to modify 1.js to something like this is just first message. So I save it and let us ensure that the task t1 is running here. So similarly, I go back to 2 and in this case, I am going to say this is second message and just say save and now I go back to gulp here and you can see t1 has been executed once again I just refresh my file and now you are going to see destination but inside the destination you are actually working with all.min.js and you can see all.min.js is actually having the minified version of all the JavaScript files and now this is first message and this is second message. So in that way, we could see like the gulp can be used as a JavaScript task runner, which actually can work with any of the gulp plugins, which can be used for minification of JavaScript files or SAS files, sorry, CSS files, or converting from SAS to CSS, watching the folders for the respective changes and execute the respective gulp tasks as well.